Full time, West Brom three, Arsenal one. It's a, f- I think, fourth defeat in five Premier League games. I think in our last nine games, thanks to at Gunnar for this stat, Arsenal have won three matches, and two of those were against non-league sides. Any opposition who are remotely credible seem to give us problems at the moment, and I guess we. We ought to have seen this coming. I mean, West Brom are kind of a nightmare side for us to face in some respects. They might not be Bayern Munich, but their strengths uh, coincide neatly with our weaknesses. Um, I mean, they really have sort of transformed into Stoke, albeit, you know, tactically under Tony Pulis, but also in terms of the fans booing our injured players and, you know, baying for blood. I, but that's not to make any excuse. Arsenal had all the possession, but football isn't about possession exclusively. Look at Leicester last season. Look at the way teams play in transition. Arsenal's style looks outdated, outmoded and outmoved, outthought. You know, I the set pieces thing is crazy. I mean, I was watching the game with my girlfriend. She's not really a football fan. And I was every time they got a corner, I was like, oh, that's a, that's a big deal. The West Brom got a corner. She was like, why? I was like, well, they work on it a lot. They practice it a lot. Um, you know, it's something they 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 sort of try and capitalise on because it's a great opportunity to score a goal, and they're strong in that respect. And she said, "Why don't Arsenal do that?" And I kind of fumbled, and I was like, "Well, because you know, West Brom haven't got as good players, but so it's a where an area where they can kind of make ground on the opposition." And she was like, "Well, surely if Arsenal did that." it would be better. Uh, and uh, <laughs> it's one of those things where sometimes a stranger, someone who's strange to the game or someone who doesn't watch the football can sometimes say something and you go, yeah, I've come to accept that as an Arsenal fan, that that's just not something we do. But it doesn't have to be that way. And it shouldn't be that way. And, you know, Arsenal made fools of themselves by talking about their knowledge of West Brom's set threat set pieces and then defending them so poorly. Yes, the delivery is good. Yes, the runs are good. The headers are good. But Arsenal need to do more than they did. I'm not even going to talk about individuals. It's a zonal system. It's a huge problem. You know, everyone's to blame. Everyone out on the pitch and the manager too. Unless the manager and his coaching staff are brilliant at coaching set pieces and the players are completely ignoring them. You'll have to forgive me. Uh, but I don't really believe that to be the case. I think that what's also very hard to take about this result is that West Brom have lost, I think, their last two league games. Certainly not won them. They've been accused of being on the beach. You know, they've got their 40 points. They've got nothing to play for, really. They're ensconced in mid-table. Arsenal are not only playing for Champions League qualification and the top four. They're playing for their manager's future, and they were brushed aside. They did not want it as much as a team who have no real incentive. That's because the players aren't playing for the manager anymore. You know, we've talked about time being up. I think the manager must sense that. He said after the game, you know, I've made my decision. That's an interesting quote. You know, he he was insisting about a week ago he hadn't made it. So what's, what's he seeing that's changed his mind? Maybe he's had enough from elsewhere. I mean, genuinely because he does want to keep managing, or maybe he's just looking at these players and thinking, I can't get the best out of these guys anymore. Um, it does need to end. Someone needs to step in, throw in the towel. He said an announcement will be soon. I think it's incumbent on the club to, to accelerate that process, because I do think that an announcement that Arsenal's going will be the only thing that will galvanise the supporters. We saw the planes above the stadium today, but and the protests in the stands. That's only going to get worse. It's going to get more sour with each bad result. Arsenal need to step in, make it clear the manager is going uh, and see if that can rally people behind him. That's our best shot. I mean, our other chances that he goes now, genuinely, I've never contemplated that. I have never contemplated that. But at this stage, that feels like one of the few things that could save our season. It won't happen. I think there's zero chance of that. But, you know, someone coming in and giving that kind of new manager bounce wouldn't be the worst thing. I think he will get to the end of the season, but I think he must know it is finished now. You know, this is a bit like being trapped in an unhappy marriage. 
Um, and who are we doing it for? The kids. I guess the kids in this case are Alexis Sanchez and Ms. Ozil. <laughs> but the kids are growing up. They're leaving home. Don't be staying in this marriage for them because they are leaving home. They're going to university in you know, Munich or Manchester or something. Uh, we don't need to be doing this anymore. Arsenal and the club can move on and hopefully both be happy independently. Um, certainly run its course, as has this video. <sighs> International break. That should be a cheerful one, shouldn't it? Cheers.